What is going on guys? Politics Gaming here and today I am doing Somalia. Um I'm going to go ahead and start this up. I have that weird um negative timer, but I guess someone's in here because Robert White's just joined the live stream. What is going on, Robert? Uh... I am the doing good. The story of the new year is the wishes expressed by our beloved head of state last evening. In an unusually poetic speech, our head of state expressed all the precepts of party doctrine by praising the great thinkers who molded them over the years. Then he set forth the goals of the government for the year to come, particularly in matters of public safety and national defense. Finally, in a grand gesture, he began to applaud, which immediately spread like wildfire in the Congress chamber and then set off a gigantic fireworks display for the new year. Unforgettable images were broadcast on all the national channels and no doubt rebroadcast around the whole world. Yeah, I bet. I bet everyone's paying attention to Somalia. All right, we have a situation in Somalia. Um, we're going to have to dig out a strategy. We have control of the southern part of the country, um, but we have no control over the Puntland and Somaliland regions of this area what we can do is that we can ask for international help um maybe no not india um not russia not china we got thailand that can probably send some troops um sudan has um troops that they can probably send us but i doubt it um so what i am going to do is military operations ask for help in fighting a nation um what i may do i may end up just asking uh wow egypt and south sudan um we can try to get egypt in because egypt is actually um Very, very strong military power. Um, let's go ahead and ask them for some help. We have a very, very low deficit, but, I mean, we do not have um, the right amount of uh, expenditures and revenue. Um, so we may introduce some a little bit more taxing um, just so we can get that. Um, but we will... Um, the first thing we will do, we will take back... Um, Galdududu. Galdududu. Um, so that is, uh, our first plan. Actually, we will go down here. We will initiate a battle for this city down here, um, in which we will, um, for sure take back Egypt as staying on the sidelines. Unfortunate, unfortunate it is. All right, let's, uh, send in our tanks as well. Um, let's go ahead and get some activity going on in this chat. Um, what is going on with you guys? Uh, like, um, uh, Black Mark missed president. Egypt refuses to join us in the war against Puntland Free Front. We're going to have to do without it. Um, one of the options that we can do is that we can let go one of these regions um, Puntland is definitely gonna have to stay with me, honestly. I can let go of, uh, Somaliland. Um, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just send in my boys. And, um, they have 8,000 troops. We have over 19,000. Um, we can strategize. Um, or we can just aim to unify the entire Somali Peninsula. Um, because this war has been going on long enough. Oh, 
You're kidding me. What is going on to rap liker? Lots and lots. Civil unrest. War. Something that we have to maintain. Um, and then let's go ahead and give some orders. Let's uh, send the army to quell that uprising. Let's get our troops dispersed and sent into the battle. Let's get these guys to move away. All right, let's just get these guys to kill these trucks. Got them. How many men did we lose? 200 men. Um, we have reinforcements moving in. Let's get these guys to get in. Let's have them meet up with these tanks that we just got in. Um, okay, let's get these guys to move back. All right, and then have these guys meet up. And then have these guys come up here. I'm playing Super Power 2 right now. Good choice in gaming. All right, let's have these guys move completely in and wipe them out. All right, we did it. All right, we got a lot of notifications coming in. We have a refugee crisis now. Um, Rebels send their armed troops. I think I saw it here. This is war. All right, let's get our troops to go in and um, recapture. The area. All right, and then let's get these guys to go into the police HQ. Get these guys to go capture that military headquarters. Actually, there's no troops over there. Let's go ahead and send them to the regional parliament. And then get these guys to move up to the bank. Police start to retreat. Uh, thankfully, this time we did not lose any tanks. Um, it's state of emergency declared. Due to hunger, our volunteers cannot face the flood of misery anymore. Poor, popular soups are taken by assault. And the only strong, only the strongest succeed in getting the food. This distribution of clothing and products of basic need lead to nameless crowds and scuffles. I beg you, take action. Your people are dying. Yeah, um, hunger is a very, very um, unfortunate subject in our country. Um, what I can do is I can make a trade contract which I doubt we're going to be able to get a good price on anything because we probably have a very, very low price on a lot of products. Um, we should definitely make a lot more cotton. Hell yeah. Totally not a racist joke. Um, pork, sugar beet, vegetables. Let's go ahead and start importing some vegetables. Um, once we stop this war... Um, we can exonerate them. We can afford to exonerate, probably not subsidize, though. Um, we have a very, very, um, Some of our... is that riot still going on? Oh, hang on, we're going to have to intervene. All right, um, let's go here. What is the world info production? Oh, actually, uh, sale price. Let's go by the lowest sale price. Malawi, Democratic Republic of the Congo, North Korea, and Syria. These guys aren't even producing anything. Yeah, but how do I quell the famine? Um, we got Ukraine. 
Um, I'm definitely not going to be able to call for a meeting, but I can um, do some contracting. Um, vegetables go over there. We can import everything that we need. Um, we can eight ninety nine. Let's do that and let's see what they send back. All right, let's go here and intervene because our army is definitely not doing anything. All right, I guess they are. All right, let's send them in and get these guys to disperse. All right, it looks like there is a battle going on. There are armed troops on the ground. We cannot afford another terrorist group to rise. Total Jihad and Somalia. We are going to concentrate on this area right here. We have two. Um, let's go ahead and send in our boat to destroy that terrorist hideout. Um, and then what we can do is that we can actually dead calm. Um, again, we have to really figure out, um, what I really want to hold on to is Puntaland, um, but I cannot, um, afford to lose that. And then, um, let's do it 1,096. I think they'll like that. Add to the file. Um, let's go over here. I don't think it costs anything to start watching over. Um, watching over them. Infiltrate, infiltrate, um, file. Somali fighters for democracy. Let's put them under surveillance. I don't think it costs anything to do that. Um, and then Puntaland free front. Um, courted action. They have mobile troops, so there's nothing that we can really do. Exterior and interior. Um, um, yeah, totally. Totally. Let's 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 do that. Oh wow, it only costs eighty-seven thousand dollars. Let's give them some trading and let's give them some money to start fighting terrorism. Let's give them at least a million dollars in um in funding. All right, $1.2 million went to that. That inflated our deficit a little bit, um, but not massively. Um, wow, how much is it gonna cost? For gold, $29 million, and then $146 million over the next five years. That is actually because we, have, we don't have a lot of uh, infrastructures, so we don't really need to protect a lot of infrastructure. All right, let's go ahead and send some troops to the battlefield, and we can start fighting Total Jihad. Um, we will start from that side. And then let's send in 41 tanks just to make sure that we have the upper hand in this battle. Liberation of demonstrators. Yeah, totally. They're the ones who started fighting. All right. We should be firing a missile. There goes a missile. And boom. All right, let's get a second missile off. All right, let's see what this is. 
Besides universal access to information, access sites like Wikipedia, for example, would be great benefit to the people in this country. But to achieve those ends, we must we would have to invest heavily in our internet infrastructures, which are currently inadequate, especially in 4G mobile. So it's up to you. So let's see how much it would cost if we started installing that. I mean, we're not going to do it because, I mean, we're currently at war. 10 million. So if we did 100% of the country, that's six billion dollars Um, okay, got him. All right, it looks like we did sign a contract with the um, Ukrainian government. So we just started importing food. Hopefully our own Somali pirates do not kill them while the ships are coming in. Um, investing into a port would actually be a very, very good idea, um, as well as highways um highways i don't know honestly man if we had how much would it be if we purchased a refugee camp four million dollars uh, okay let's do it i guess well we can't we can't we can't do anything we can't anywhere in the country. We have to rely on everyone outside of our country. If the Kenyans, like, had... would, like, give us some of their air power, we'd be able to fend off these guys. Even the Ethiopians have the planes. Boo. This is not doing anything against them. Uh, let's get some missile launchers. We're about to lose missiles. Battle. Alright, let's move in. Get these guys moving. And then... Um, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and give them... Give me those suggestions, because... Um, I... Suck at war. Alright, let's send both of these guys in. And... Fight them off. Let's send these guys over there. And then let's kill off the rest of the guys from the... After their incursion into territory. And send these guys to the bank. Alright, good. We got a lot of people watching now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um... As always, going to my Patreon will help me out immensely, or just a one-time donation on my um, channel. But it is not required. Again, I always say that it is not required, but it is a very friendly gesture. Um, plus, you are susceptible to winning giveaways if you actually do that. So, um, I mean, I'm still going to give it away, give stuff away, even like if I don't get any donations at all. But, um, yeah. But um, let's go ahead and get these guys to capture the rest of these areas. We actually have a museum. All right, we got one city and we are now on to the next city so we can fight back for this region. Let's send these guys in so they can fight them off. 
Um, we do have a lot of soldiers in the northern part of here, so we can actually start fighting them off. Send in actual troops. Um, we can lose them, but we cannot lose too many. Uh, currently out of combat. Um, we need to see what is going on with our troop numbers. Um, out of combat, 273 casualties, um, 1,905 casualties. So we have lost that many, um, so far, but we need to go ahead and keep going. And then we can just recruit, you know what, I am actually going to launch a recruitment campaign for 20,000 soldiers. Let's go for 22,000 soldiers. That would be $4 million. Come on, we need those troop reinforcements to come right in before um, these trucks come in. There we go. Let's send them in and fight them off. We have a lot of troops that we are actually fighting against. So um, we need to prepare... Come on, we need more reinforcements. Let's get them. All right, we actually got approval off of that. All right, look, like we have more troops. So we are now almost prepared. We need one more batch of troops. If we do not get them in the next five seconds, then we are nearly screwed. Actually, we can send these guys over here. We have 2,300 troops. Once these guys come in, we can kind of like pincer them All right, let's do it. All right, and then move in. It's a massive battle over this bank. All right, we did it. All right, let's move in. Capture the rest of the city. We only need to capture three areas. And we were we are actually going to be able to um, capture them. So let's send in a regiment of 500 troops down in there and then the rest over to the regional parliament and then um, the rest to the museum. Spelled museum wrong right there. All right, let's see how many people have died in this battle. 780 from the state and only 400 from the rebels. Um, yeah, I know Somalia is lagging behind in ICTs, but that does not matter. Let's kill the rest of these terrorists, and we are done. So we just successfully captured back this entire region right here. Um, let's get these guys up. Oh, it disappeared. All right, we can get these guys to kind of patrol around, but our main job is going to be... a relying on these missiles so let's go over here incur a cost of at least 150 missiles let's see what that does to our economy okay that didn't really do anything We're, we most likely incurred in debt um which our debt is only 38% of our GDP, but we have no public deficit as of yet. Actually, we kind of do, but it's not big. Um, it's actually less than a billion, million dollars, actually. Um, we have no credit rating, so we have no credit at all. Um, most of our debtors are from the United States, Japan, France... United Kingdom and India is actually lending us money. Youch. Um, Somaliland is actually very mad at us. Um, soon enough, we could actually start to incur into the territory of the Putaland. And maybe once we capture um, all of their, all or most of their cities, we can have them surrender. Um, but I will start negotiations with um, the Total Jihad group and of hostilities and standardization. So let's go ahead 
Um, which I actually just realized that that would actually give them political power. Ew. That's kind of bad. Uh-oh. How many troops is that? Massive earthquake in Panama. Um, hopefully our... food situation is doing better since we are importing some food. Um, national borders of Somalia are looking pretty bad. Um, but we are making advancements. We did capture, um, the Galga region. All right, let's go ahead and start firing some missiles at this terrorist base. Um, start quelling the total jihad. We can go at it one terrorist group at a time. <laughs> All right, let's move our boats. Oh, yeah, the cruiser's already back. Um, can we bombard this? No, we can't. It is out of range. We need better ships. Here is Mogadishu. Oh, we actually have commandos here. How much does it cost to get a commando? Ooh, only one million dollars. All right, looks like we did get that one part right there. Oh god, we have more. Got him. All right, let's target that area right there and get rid of the rest of these rebels. Flunk. God, they are really complaining about these uh, ICT infrastructures. <sighs> And I wonder what happens if we cross into the territory of the terrorist groups that have control over these regions. Here's the Puntalanda area. Population of 3 million people. 10,000 housing. 10,000 unsanitary housing. Um, 105 hospital beds. Um, two community centers. 362,000 school places. Um... Nuclear power plant zero. Whoa, massive, massive, massive terrorist attack. Suicide truck attack a police station. Truck transporting an explosive load crashed into a police station. The surrounding buildings were... 29 people have died in that terrorist attack. Um, Louise, I have no idea what you just said, but I guess thank you for the comment. <laughs> Um, wow, we have a lot of, uh, terrorist groups right there. Um, let's... Yes, victory against the total jihad. Just to make sure, let's go ahead and bombard these last um, sections. What is going on, DJF? Um, just now, we just won against the total jihad. Only 13 fighters are left. Um, 
victorious end against the conflict against Total Jihad. Um, looks like the last rebel soldiers laid down weapons. Some have succeeded in escaping and will perhaps continue the armed struggle with their meager means. It is great and stunning victory of our army over terrorism. Alright, let's go ahead and move these guys back. The kidnapping took place Personal MD taken hostage by Puntland Freefront. Looks like Puntland is... um ready for a fight we can give them a fight um let's go ahead and dispatch our entire military All right, let's put our entire military right there. Um, we have commandos that we can use. I bet all of them are in Mogadishu. Um, no, they are actually not. Um, I guess the ones that we actually did add are being dispersed throughout the entire country. Throughout its military bases, we will definitely reap the benefits and send in special forces to capture cities that are now under control of terrorist organizations. Um, I think we have a better shot at attacking the Puntalan Free Front. Um, they want a war, they're gonna get a war. If we yield today, we'll be... Well, I can't exactly, like, give them money, so... <laughs> um, we will definitely be using ships to bombard targets in the Puntaland. Um, maybe... The investigation on the ground... How many people have died... Um, only $50,000 in damage. I guess that really shows you how, um, our country looks if, um, the cost is so low. Alrighty. Um, I have no idea why. Let's send in our boys and start bombarding the Puntaland. Boom. Should definitely damage relations between us and the Puntaland. We will definitely start moving into cities um, to take back our country. Um, there is a massive city right here, so we can probably um, either start here, take that city, or we can um, hit the big city um, and then send them a standardization. Hmm. And of hostilities, if we can just end it now, we'll definitely be in a better fighting position to take on the Somaliland. Um, agreement negotiation has refused. Agreement has been cancelled. So how do you fight against someone like this? 
Oh my god, the leader of the guy is gay. He's a commun- no, he's a right independent. Um, <laughs> he's gay though. Perspective analysis, coupled with the Brown model on group psychotectonics. I'd rather not. Alright, let's uh, send you sit there. Let's go in through that way. And then you through here. Let's send them in. Fourteen thousand troops. Date him until he's drunk and agrees. Well, I can't really call him for a meeting. Maybe I can. Nope, can't. Wait, what? Current regional popularity, 95%. Current national part, part popularity, 22%. What's his health looking like? Attracted to the head of state, 48. But loyalty is 13. <laughs> Population influenced by the character, 0%. Degree of influence over his or her fans, 100. Global political and electoral influence, 7. Um, job seniority, 73. Charisma, 76. Health, 11. So he's pretty sick. Maybe he will die soon. Um, what's our immigration looking like? Arab community, 1.2% of the population. Um, and maybe we can close the borders um, to halt that. Honestly, any domestic policy, I'm barely even going to pay attention to that because honestly, um, we need to focus on this war. Um, because if we do not concentrate on the war, then we won't even have a country to worry about. Let's get these guys to meet up. Alright, let's slow this down and get these guys to throw grenades at him. Fire, fire, fire before we lose one guy. Alright, we did not lose any men, I do not think. Let's look here. Well, 30 troops and one. Putting together a refugee convoy. We don't have anywhere to put a refugee convoy, I'm sorry. I guess flanking is actually a very good idea. Alright, let's send these boys in, and get them to fight off the rebels. Um, we have 4,000 troops, let's go down there, we already have that. To be honest, I may end up calling the reserves in because we have 14,000 troops. We're trying to get up to 20. I'm going to put that at 25,000. That was it. All right, we do have red relations now with the Puntaland Free Front. Uh, 261 troops killed on the state's side and 33 
killed on the rebel side. Um, this will definitely. Um, so let's go ahead and advance the majority of our troops in. Um, so what happens if we call up the reservists? Train for this purpose and have the fall military training from time to time when they're they're called have to leave their jobs with has, which has a significant impact on the economy. Um, general mobilization aimed at preparing an army for war by calling all men of fighting age to fight for their country. The First World War gave rise to unprecedented mobilization. Yeah, because significant economic consequences. And as many people have leave their jobs and they will no longer work for the economy. Um. Oh God, they have tanks and armored trucks. Um, big city, we're going to have to send in a um, regiment of tanks. Um, commandos, we can mobilize our commandos, put them all into the capital of Somalia. 178. Let's go ahead and move you guys to Mogadishu. We have a target that we can finally engage from the sea, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, honestly, I wish I had American help, because they would definitely be able to send in their navy and just pound the living hell out of these guys. Um, what we can do, actually, go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and start moving toward democracy. Um, so, not sports... You know what? Actually, just so we can get some ex extra money flowing. Total economic tax exemptions for companies using retirement by capitalization. Let's go ahead and confirm that. Um, it is a drafted bill, so um, people will like that, actually. Um, even though mostly everyone is like barely even contributing into the economy. Um, look at that we don't even have a income tax. We have a value added tax and we have a gun tax that's not even being used. Look at that. We're not making any money off of that. We're making 8,000 no, yeah, we're making $8,000 off of the auto visual audio visual tax and 22 million dollars off of the company tax which is 6%. Um, donations from other countries, $1.2 billion. We need to make sure our revenue is above that because that is actually where all of our money is coming from, actually. Look at that. Look, our total revenue, tax revenue, is $1.5 billion, and that's all because of donations from other countries, foreign aid. So we definitely need to change that. We need to make some growth. All right, let's uh, figure out a strategy. Um, let's send 5,000 troops. We're going to do the same strategy. We have a big city that we are going after. Um, so we are going to actually send in tanks. Where is our tanks? Don't we have, like, a lot of tanks? Yeah, rank two tanks. Oh, they're all the way down here. We're going to have to... Let those guys move in, but we will send in some rank 1 tanks. And then let's get these guys to move in. That's not 221 troops. Actually, you know what? Every troop counts. Let's get these guys to move in from the east. Just 
probably going to be the largest and the bloodiest battle that we will have come across. Let's get these guys to move over here, get these tanks to prepare for these guys. Wow, we have a lot of trucks coming in, so we need to prepare for this battle. Ooh, man, we have a lot of troops. We have a lot of troops, a lot of troops, a lot of troops. Um, you know what? Um, kill him, for one. Oh, man, we have a lot of guys coming in. Um... Crap, we have people been up behind the lines. Okay. We're, we are going, going to take heavy casualties. Alright. Let's get these guys to form up. We're going to take a lot of casualties. Let's get these guys moving right here. Ouch. I think this is actually where the majority of their army is, so we can actually um, get a large defensive line for this. Um, tanks, let's get these tanks moving before we lose them. We're probably going to lose them. Ouch, we just lost them. All right, let's uh, get these guys to absolutely rain hell on him. Grenade, grenade, grenade. Boom, 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 boom. Got him. Let's look at the casualties right now. Almost 1,000 losses from our side and 159 losses from their side. So let's go ahead and march right in. Ah, man, our tanks are just taking a pounding right now. Um, very, very successful battle, but we have taken a lot, a lot of casualties. 1,183 casualties from our numbers. Um, rest in peace. Massive battle. Um, historical population, 274,000 people in this city. Um... 1,300 casualties, while only half of that in the Rebels' side. Uh, very unfortunate. Um, let's get half of you to go over to the Regional Parliament so we can... That is 1,600, and that is 1,900. Um, tanks, tanks, tanks. Let's get you guys over here to support. And once we pound this part, we will have won that battle. So we just took back a massive city. Lots of casualties that we have suffered, unfortunately. Um, how many troops do we now have? We now have a lot of 1,000 more troops than we did have. Um, but again, we would probably have more if... Um, so we have suffered 2,373 casualties, and they have suffered 1,500 casualties. Um, let's propose a peace treaty and ask for a normalization of relations. See if they accept that after we just captured the biggest city. Um, if they do not, we will continue our war effort and push up north until we hit the coast. And let's go back and regroup. The decree takes effect as of today. Um, what can we nationalize? Building housing and roadway. Um, how much would that cost to nationalize? $67 million. That would be horrible. Um, helicopters. 
Um, we have a lot of sectors that we are not even producing anything in. Um, all right, we just got a response back. Your interlocutor has refused. The agreement has now been canceled. Public finances, we have gotten 49% in approval. Wow. What? Um, that's weird, but we have a lot of money. Negative $3 billion in expenditures. Hang on. Up, oh, our pie chart has disappeared. We just ran into a bug. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Let's go ahead and um, give some more money into here. Since I can guess we have a lot of money that we can spend. You know what? I'm going to cheat. Uh, we've been live streaming for about an hour, so... Um, unless I won't cheat. I'm going to see what this bug does. Oh my god, look at that. It's gone. The pie chart is gone. No. What? 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 No, what happened? What happened? Report interception. Somalia could be the top. What the fuck happened? Association. What? I gave y'all money. Okay. What the fuck? What the hell is going on? I didn't even do anything. What's our spending on health since that is the worst one? Social Security, $1.8 billion. What the hell? What if I give full funding to... There. Okay, go to the next day. I lost. Hello. I am at the Central Square. Here we are. Whatever. We just lost. <sighs> that was gay. Um, looks like we lost that round, not even intentionally. Um, Somalia, I mean, seems like a very um, cool country to play as. They have an interesting spot geopolitically, and um, honestly, um, they would actually be very interesting to play. Um, but unfortunately, I am not able to play them because they are at war. And that is honestly one of the reasons why I never like going to war, because it just honestly... just does stuff like that. So, unfortunately, we did, uh, um, lose that. Um, but do you guys want me to go on, or do you guys want me to, um, just go ahead and call it a day? Um, or we can just play the United States and just wipe them out. Got Madagascar right here. Um, Mozambique. Um, Namibia. I have no idea what you're saying. I'm going to Google Translate that real quick. Detect language. And my country's playing with Madagascar. <laughs> Oops. I didn't mean to press that. Brazil. Brazil. What are you going on? What are you doing with Brazil? Greece, we got suggestion for. Have you thought of doing about doing unified Korea? Um, I actually did um, unite Korea one time, and um, just a huge economic um, turmoil like proceeded after that. But honestly, I actually thought it was very interesting because I actually was able to go to war as North Korea, and not 
lose power. So I actually successfully united um, the Korean Peninsula. Um, should I actually unite Korea under the North Korean flag? You know what? Before I go, I'm going to do that. Since I have a smaller economy, I think it's actually going to be better if I do it under South Korea's flag. Um, why do I not play as one in um, Central Asia? I actually do have a Kazakhstan um, series. Um, I might actually do the Kazakhstan series again because, honestly, Kazakhstan is a very, very interesting country to me. Um, they are a religious authoritarian regime, actually. Um, maybe we can actually move them toward democracy. Um, but Kazakhstan is actually very interesting. Um, they have a space program, actually. And, um, lots and lots of room to develop resources, build highways. Um, unfortunately, they do not have shipping. Um, unless I were to be able to make one of the biggest, um, shipping routes in Central Asia. Um, but honestly, if you guys do actually want me to have a Central Asia series, um, what should I play as? Should I play Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, um, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, um, or even Afghanistan? Um, Turkmenistan, let's look at you. Um, it is a republic, 5.4 million people, $36 billion economy, authoritarian regime with a religious authoritarian, um, political party. Capital is Azgabat, Az Azgabat, oh, I think I'm saying that right. Afghanistan will be very hard, um, do they have air forces in Afghanistan? Yep, okay, so I guess they have drones. Um, oops. Um, play with Madagascar. Are you talking about Madagascar right here? Um, Ad Madagascar actually might be a very interesting series. Um, very, very underdeveloped. Um, food situation is actually critical, I think. Um, so there's a lot of room for development. Um, hmm. Lots of development, um, that we can actually do. Then we have a suggestion for the Islamic Republic of Iran. Right here, Islamic Republic, religious um, regime, and religious religious authoritarian party. Very, very weak currency compared to the U.S. dollar um, and $5,400 GDP per capita. Um, no nuclear warheads, but they do have a current nuclear program in the works in this game. Um, and a 500,000 men army. Um, next series I am actually going to commence is going to be the Republic of Australia. I did have a, or the Commonwealth of Australia, um, which is actually what I had on the other game, but unfortunately 2018 came in and I'm not, I have to start over just like I did with the Federal Republic of Germany. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and unify Korea and let's Look at our military right now. Um, let's abolish the National Service because we need a professional army. We do not need a 126,000 men army to fight the North Koreans. Uh.
And then I think what we may end up doing, um, right before we call up the war, we will call all reservists, and then we will unify the Korean Peninsula. President of the Gambia has invited us for a meeting we will refuse. Super high speed is changing society. What is our numbers on that? Wow, 88% of the country is covered by super high speed optic internet. South Korea is crazy about technology. Um, 96% is covered by 4G internet. And 82% is covered by broadband internet. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go for the um, easiest one. And we're going to invest $1.5 billion into making 100% of the country covered by 4G. Um, these numbers will definitely go down once we annex North Korea. Because it will basically be cut in half. Abolishing national service. We now have a professional army. 630,000 men. Um, and then we're going to move that to 1,000 men. For commandos. Pyeongchang. Now ready to host the games. It will be a big moment for sports and for our country. Obviously, we are counting on your active. Okay, we're gonna do it after the Winter Games. go ahead and get our military to start moving. Good thing we have a very, very more advanced um, military than the our North Korean counterparts. Uh, one, uh, 11,000 troops are now being moved, along with another 15,000 troops being moved to counteract our thing. Let's go ahead and move some troops to... The border with North Korea. North Korean Navy fleet. Yeah, I know. They're easy targets, honestly. So that will just help us cut down their military power. And then something I am going to concentrate on, our air forces will definitely... Fishermen are worried. North Korean carriers close to our territorial waters in Guang Gangwon. Cause much apprehension in the local population and anger fishermen. Maybe you should do something. Do I see another Korean war in real life? Maybe. Honestly, the North Koreans, honestly, are probably smart enough. I mean, I think the guy's nuts. Um, wow, we have rank four missile launchers. 
right there. Um, I have an idea right before we call, right before we start the war. Let's um, go to Secret Service and cryptography and cybersecurity. And right before we do that, we will launch a military cyber attack against the Koreans, the North North Koreans. Um, they have 2,206, while well, we have 300. Um, da, da, da. Let's go ahead and increase our numbers of cyber analysts. Um, this will take time. No, we are already on it. I really think we should send a message. I can't believe we still have economic relations, mostly because we do have a joint operations um, factory in Kaesong. Um, right before, right whenever we launch the war, um, we will actually um, attack their highway system, so they do cannot move troops around as efficiently as they could. Um, and we will definitely launch attacks against their um, people over here. Crap. Um, but honestly, yeah, honestly, the uh, I'd maybe kind of see a war happening, but honestly, the uh, the guy the guy's crazy, but he's smart enough to know that um, if he were to launch a war against um, the United States or even the South Koreans, then it would be the end of his regime. He would ultimately lose, and he's smart enough to know that. We have our fleets. Off of that, we have trade ships that are heading to the United States. Most likely what I'm going to do, I'm going to send in all my commandos into Pyongyang. Or just send in my entire military to uh, storm Pyongyang. Yeah, they're backing off. Looks like the entire North Korean military is backing off. That's unprecedented. All right, the closing ceremony is now commencing. Um, Paralympics are still coming, so I don't know if I want to wait until after. This day will go down in history. What's our energy policy looking like? Very low CO2 emissions compared to China. Um, and production, 468 consumption, 400. Um, massive earthquake in Chile, 237 dead. Soon enough, again, we will launch this war. Opening in a week. Yeah, we're going to wait until after the Paralympics. Uh, very unfortunate that the Olympics have to happen. Your speeches, but only action will see you, keep you as the head of state. Oh, wow, he hates me. National defense. Public sector, social security, and foreign policy. Apparently he hates foreign policy. Um
Um, once we do end up starting this war, our first concentration of military strikes will be against our air forces. Um, most of mostly my ships will definitely move in and start hitting their air for air airfields to dis decimate their entire air power. Um, and then they will definitely start concentrating on the ground forces. My air forces will current concentrate on uh, ground bases. Um, and my navy will concentrate on air bases. Um, and then troops, once we clear this entire area right here, we will have a straight line shot toward Pyongyang. These two bases right here would definitely um, be um, a concentration for my air forces. Um, we need to send in my tanks. Because we cannot do anything in this country or in this war without my tanks. Um, increases in South Korea, thank you. And in search of funding for political... And then let's wait. Um, looks like we do have troops moving in. T cutting edge telemedicine. Internet improvement. We have a very good internet, I know. Um, looks like their troops are coming back. How many troops are we dealing with? We have 14 missile launchers and 15,000. Faced with this threat. No, I already have control of the situation. Oh, uh, What is their GDP? What is their unemployment? Unemployment 4% and ours is 3%. So we should have at least maybe a 6 or 7% unemployment rate once we annex North Korea. Soon enough again we will finish off. We will call in the help of the United States um, once we start this war and then we will definitely call in the help of Japan since I think they would help us out. Uh, and Paralympics are finally over. Just behind Canada this is an excellent result. Six point four billion dollar cash surplus. What is our debt before we end up going to war? Commandos are the future. I know. Um, wrong one. And let's go ahead. You know what? Um, I actually actually will have to end up going. To, I have to, actually have to leave in a minute, um, so I am actually going to cheat my way to win this war. South Korea and North Korea. North Korea. No, actually South Korea. All right, let's get the. All right, the conflict has already started. Um, wow, 1.1 million troops that they have. This will be a bloody battle. This will actually be better if I just cheat around it. North Korea surrenders, and do that. Let's have everyone withdraw. Return, wow, 76,000. Um, so let's have everyone move, move back to their base. North Korean armed forces have surrendered. Um, and I am actually going to... Q Kim... Oh, Kim Jong-un. 
and did not wish to have his eyes covered. Sounds about right. Zero casualties. This is the most peaceful war I've ever been in. Wait, I have a peace treaty right here. Colonized, integrated into the country. South Korea seized power. All right, let's go to the next day because we will be integrating this country. Capture technology. Oh yeah, I bet. We'll keep it a secret until a new order has developed. Capture technology. What the heck have we captured? Here is our all right, let's get rid of all these. And then one more thing, I want to see what happens when I change the name of my country after I've annexed another country. Let's just call it the Flat Republic of Korea. Four seventeen is whenever it will take effect. Uh, looks like no one really likes that. Reassess budget following North Korean annexation. We have a 0.2% surplus. Reduce staff. That is, again, because of that, that is why sometimes they do not recommend. Um, and actually having them be a colony of you would actually be better. It looks like tomorrow it will housing a national priority. Oh god, well, let's see what this housing situation looks like. What was it like before? Oh, it actually went down. All right, let's go to the next day. And the day after that. All right, looks like we have changed our name to the Republic of Korea. Public opinion of strongly against that change. That would actually be a very interesting series. The Republic of Korea, a unified Korea. Finance, GDP. Wow, our stock market blew up. About 200 points in one day. All because of the annexation. What is our taxing situation looking like? That is it. Uh, we did not really accumulate a lot of debt. Wow, this is actually a better situation of annexing another country than I actually thought. Um, just like I said earlier, no, I do not see another Korean War happening. Um, but I honestly do. Um, again, like I said earlier, I do kind of see it happening because the Kim Jong-un um, may do it, honestly. But he's smart enough to know that if he were to launch an attack against um, South Korea or the United States, then he would ultimately lose and he will fall 
Um, so basically the only time I ever see the South, the North Koreans doing something is, um, is if they're basically a cornered fox. Um, whenever you corner someone and you corner someone like, basically that's the kind of thing that is happening to Russia, honestly, that the Russians are basically being cornered and because like the West, NATO, the United States, they're all saying you're bad. We're not going to listen to you, blah, blah, blah. So honestly, I think, um, honestly, they're more comparable, especially to North Koreans. And once the North Koreans actually um, finally say enough is enough, then they will launch chemical, biological, or even nuclear attacks against South Korea. They cannot reach the United States. I know they can't reach the United States. Everyone knows that you can't. they can't reach the United States. Um, but honestly... Um, the uh, repercussions of that will be enormous. Um, I actually did figure out what kind of technology we actually captured from the um, North Koreans. It was actually a um, weapon system that they have. I think. The rank four missile launchers is usually what I thought. Um, what speech? What speech did Trump give today? Um, you mean the CPAC speech? I did not watch that, so I have no opinion of it as of yet. Mm, let's go ahead and give some money to agriculture. I actually did see some news that the deputy um, that was stationed at the Parkland High School was actually at the school whenever the shooting happened, and he didn't do a thing. And I think that is very cowardly and disgusting that he would even do that. So he should be ashamed, honestly, um, because he did not do anything whenever he was assigned to protect that school. That is a reason we have SROs at our schools, and he didn't do the damn thing. And that is... Just honestly, a massive shame that he did not do a damn thing. Um, but I will actually go ahead and call it a day. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually save this. Um... I'm going to save this for another time. Um, but, guys, if you actually did like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Um, subscribe. Super chat me. Please can become a sponsor for my channel. And I will um, see you guys in the next video. No, honestly, I do not think I will run for office unless I deem it necessary. Um, eh, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Um, definitely would have to be a local office, honestly. Um, to answer your question, but, oh, there's Pyeongchang. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and take care.